guys! I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I have a review on a product I've recently purchased and been trying and very much been loving actually. And this is the Clarisonic um, Lux brush head. I have the Cashmere Cleanse. So Clarisonic recently came out with this and these are supposed to be like luxurious brush heads. And they have three different ones. They have a body brush, they have this one which is the Cashmere Cleanse, it's just a general facial brush head, and then they have one that's basically like this but much smaller so it's supposed to be to fit better around like the crevices of your nose. I got this at Sephora for $30, which is $5 more than their typical brush heads. Now prior to this I was using the Clarisonic, I believe, sensitive brush head, the one that typically comes with the Clarisonic. And after that, I tried the Deep Pore Cleansing Brush Head, which had been my favorite thus far. And now, the Deep Pore one was the one like with the blue strip around it, and I was that was the one that I was repeatedly buying, and I very much liked that. But when I saw this at Sephora a couple weeks ago and I felt it, I was sold. So I use the Clarisonic Plus, but you can use these brushes with any of the Clarisonics, so Clarisonic Mia, um, the Mia 2, just any of them. So it snaps on the same way as any of the Clarisonic brushes do, and it looks like this. Now mine is wet, so um, yeah, I apologize for that, but I just used it this morning. But it is much longer than your typical Clarisonic brush head. The usual ones, I think, end like there. But this one's much longer, um, and it is this extremely soft texture. It doesn't have as much resistance as the other Clarisonics. So. so typically when you're using a Clarisonic, you're supposed to turn it on and have it on your skin just like this. It's not supposed to be pushed down because the purpose of it is to use the, um, like, that sonic vibration speed to clean deep into your pores. So it's not to you're not supposed to be pushing the brush around like this. You don't want the bristles to be moving. You're supposed to keep it on top of your skin and just move it around in little circles. But because the hairs on this brush are much longer and it's not as densely packed, you when you have it on your skin, it just ends up kind of folding down. So when I first started trying this and I realized that there was no way I could keep it like just on the, uh, on the surface of my skin without pushing it down, I kind of thought, well, what's the point of this? Because Clarisonic specifically says that you don't want to be pushing down the bristles. Um, but basically, this brush head is perfect for people with sensitive skin, and it's also great for a milder cleanse. Now, I... So when I first started using the Clarisonic, I was using it twice a day, and I found that that was kind of way too much for my skin, so I cut down drastically, and now that I use the oil cleansing method, I use the Clarisonic even less. Now, that's not to say I don't like it and that it doesn't help my skin. However, I just found that I didn't need to be using it twice a day. I would only use it a few times a week. But when I saw this, I was super excited because since it's so gentle, I realized that I could use my Clarisonic more regularly. So as you can see, the cashmere head is much taller than the other brush heads, any of them. This brush feels very luxurious on the skin. It's just a really nice brush overall. I read a lot of reviews about this after I purchased it. Usually I'm the kind of person who does so much research on something before I buy it, and when I saw this in the store, I hadn't even heard about these brushes yet, but when I felt it, I knew I had to buy it. Now, when it's wet like this, you can't really see how um, soft it even looks, but it's extremely soft to the touch and it feels so luxurious and gentle on the skin. I have pretty sensitive skin. Um, now, I had no problem using this brush head, but like I mentioned, I needed something that wasn't not... Now, this wasn't necessarily harsh, but I just didn't need such a deep cleanse. So, I've been using this for over a week now, and I absolutely love it. Now, I use the oil cleansing method, and then every other day I will use my Clarisonic, or I'll use a Clarisonic in the morning with this brush head. And I got a sample of the First Aid Beauty uh, cleanser, the new red one they have, and it works really brilliantly with this. Something this brush is great for, it makes your product very nice and foamy. Now, uh, lather in a product doesn't mean that the product cleans better, but it's still nice to have 
you know, nice foamy cleanser on your skin. And because the bristles are so long and it's so soft, it makes your product um, go a long way. You just have to be careful not to get the product like way inside. So what I do is I'll put the cleanser um, on my fingertips, rub it into my skin, and then I might dab the brush in a little bit of the cleanser and then go in. That way I'm not getting the product like stuck down in there because if you put it the product like way in there then it's not going to be able to get to your skin so again I recommend using your cleanser just with your fingertips and a little bit of water and then going in with the Clarisonic and that's a recommendation I would give to using any of the brush heads I read many reviews where people said that this does not clean your skin and I completely disagree this is a great cleansing tool uh, again I use the other Clarisonic brush heads so I'm comparing this to the other ones and um, although this might not cleanse as deeply as the other brush heads the older ones it still cleanses very very effectively a lot of people say well this doesn't exfoliate the Clarisonic is not a tool that is meant to exfoliate your skin it is meant to clean it from the inside out it's meant to give you a really deep cleanse the uh, sonic movement or vibration it has is meant to like work into your pores it's meant to create better blood flow to the surface of your skin so in turn you have much healthier and much cleaner skin but it is not meant to exfoliate so when people when I hear people saying well it doesn't exfoliate as well as the other ones I just keep thinking well the Clarisonic isn't meant to be an exfoliating tool, it's meant to be a cleansing tool, and they are, in fact, very different things. This brush head is just honestly wonderful. It's my favorite one. Um, the Sephora is having their VIB sale at the end of this month, and I plan to pick a few more of these up. I really, really recommend it. I like it best from any of the brush heads I've tried. The only thing I don't like about this is that because it's so long, it gets water everywhere like even right now when I press it on there's just water flying everywhere like what is that highest speed but regardless I am totally fine with overlooking that little flaw uh, just for the benefit of having a really nice gentle brush head again I really 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 love this product I'll do a more in-depth review on my blog so you guys can check back later this week for that and since Sephora is having their VIB sale coming up at the end of this month I also am planning on putting out a video later this week about the uh, Clarisonic and um, my thoughts on it so that if you guys were looking into getting one you could get it with their discount later this month so yeah I hope you guys have a wonderful day and check back on Thursday for a review on the Clarisonic bye guys thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day